your host, Tony Teams. We broadcast live here on Pick Dogs and Sports Chat Place YouTube channel and throughout social media. We will get you out of here well before the top of the hour. Give you guys enough time to get those bets in for the primetime game. And that's what we do here on the drive through Monday through Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. It's over live free sports picks for the games beginning at 7 p.m. Eastern Time and later. And to deliver those winners are professional handicappers over at Pick Dogs and Sports Chat Place. So let's go ahead and take a look at who's on the show with us here for today. All right, with us, we've got Brian Miller with us. Jay Briggs, Javon Burtz, got Brad Francis with us, Steve Bracey, and Rod Zoaki on the freeze frame. Here's how they'll line up for this evening. Biller, Racy, Briggs, Francis, Burtz, Clark, another late scratch, Zoaki, and then I will close this one out. All right, uh, on the board tonight, of course, national championship game. We'll have a pick from that game, UConn and Purdue. Also, we got, uh, looks like, a 12 games from Major League Baseball in the prime power. A couple on the ice, so let's get the show underway. Let's go to welcome in Brian Billy. He'll catch him over at Pick Dodge Premium. Had a great season in college hoops this year, so we'll bring Brian in right now. Ready to roll from baseball coverage. Brian, Brian, what's happening? You know, I'll tell you what, finally had a good day on Sunday, 5-0. and oh, I needed a good day. It's a bit, it was a run of bad luck over the week, but uh, finally saw the Astros take off, take out the Rangers. Uh, so all things were, were good yesterday. We'll see how today goes. We'll see how today goes indeed. Yeah, you were on that uh, Astros. Uh, got that, uh, well, you got that good outing out of uh, their starting pitcher <laughs> trying for that second no-hitter. They finally won a game, yeah. They finally <laughs> won a game. Yeah, he went pretty deep. I was a little worried when they pulled him that the Rangers' bats would get to him. But uh, got lucky in this one. And tonight you got Heaney going for him. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll see what happens in that one. Of course, the uh, the Astros and the, uh, although we've seen the money now, so we've seen the uh, the, uh, well, actually, we'll have that as chat of the game. Looks like Rangers' favorite in this game. But the game you'll be looking at tonight will be this one between the Rays and the Angels. Rays continue their road trip from Col- so it's not they're not going from Florida. They're going from Colorado to LA because uh, because uh, they play Colorado over the weekend in a wild series. There, uh, Rays a dollar thirty eight total of nine. Yeah, for me, I like dogs, and I'm going to go here with the LA Angels here for my drive through selection. You got Tyler Anderson going for the Angels. And his last start, he looked pretty uh, solid. Seven shutout innings. Uh, Zach Eflin goes for the Rays. And uh, just like uh, the Tampa Bay Rays uh, have been Eflin, about a 500 uh, mediocre pitcher this year. I know it's just two starts, but if you look at his uh, uh, spring training, uh, he got pretty much knocked around. Angels got embarrassed 12-2 to yesterday. And I, and I see them bouncing back here tonight. Rays on the road last year around a 500 road team. Uh, Angels haven't been – Rain, Angels haven't been playing bad baseball five and two over the last seven games. I like the way Ron Washington uh, runs this club. Tampa Bay three and four over the last seven. Uh, so for me, uh, both these teams come in here with uh, two of the worst bullpens in the league. But I think the Angels walk this one off late. I'm take the plus money in the LA Angels. Tonight. All right, Brian here with a plus money on the Angels plus uh, against the uh, Rays. Of course, the Rays batting up numbers look good. Well. Uh, they just got out of Colorado, so you kind of have to uh, look, look, you know, look at these batting averages. Uh, of course, it's a bit discrepancy. Angels really cold batting. For my thoughts here, if you're going to Angels here, plus uh, almost need a little more plus money to get them. Well, any, anytime you play the Angels, you're going to need plus money. But you're getting the Rays here off of series in Colorado at a little different atmosphere hitting the baseball here. That's true. You know, it's a little bit easier to hit the baseball in Colorado. But I just remember last year the Tampa Bay Rays really solid home team. But on the road, you know, uh, they were, uh, I think they were around a 500 team and laying this kind of juice with them. I think, uh, I'm not saying fade the Rays every single game, but I think the Angels are going to be a team at home that you got to take at least take a look at. Yeah, they're going to be dogs a lot, especially because of the Otani situation. And of course, they got to get their pitching and bullpen together and see how this rolls here with the Angels. Uh, of course, I think we just saw them in their series uh, getting one there against the uh, Red Sox here, but it was tough to win 2 1. But anyway, we've got to Brian here. Angels plus 126 against the Rays. This one tonight, 9.38 Eastern Time. All right, Brian, let's take a look over at Pick Doctor for tonight's action. Of course, uh, on the board tonight is the National Championship game. Of course, Brian showing great results here in College Hoops as we finish College Hoops tonight. Also on the board, we have action on the ice. About a, a remainder of 12 games on the board for Major League Baseball. What about to start? What do you have going over at Pick Dogs Premium? Well, I got my big play is in college basketball tonight, the championship game, my titanium play. Off of 5 0 Sunday, my titanium play 79 51 and 1, 61% winners, last 131 best bets. You can get that over at pickdogs.com, just $25. I uh, also have a premium in the NHL where I'm starting to get hot. 14-6 and six last 20 NHL plays. Then uh, I have a winner in Major League Baseball. Maybe get all three of them in a three-pack for $50. Uh, 
Plus, take a look at the two-for-one capper specials. Definitely a good time to jump on with Major League Baseball, NHL, and NBA all heating up. That's right, guys. Got to go with Brian Pillar over at Pick Dog Supreme. You see the good results here from College Hoops. So coming off a good day yesterday, last seven days, and for the year, showing profit over at Pick Dogs. If you guys like that seven-day pass here on the Monday, well, that will get you the remainder of finest picks here from March Madness. Also, remainder of the regular season, NBA and Sunday, hockey, baseball, good time to get on board with a long-term pass promo code. Pick a checkout to save that 15% off. All right, Brian, as always, great having you on the show. Have a great week. We'll catch up with you next week. But let everybody know we can catch your video series here at Pick Dogs as you go against the, the public uh, looking for against the contrarian plays uh, over on the site. Well, I'm about to go on vacation uh, starting on Wednesday, but my contrarian, uh, sharp contrarian plays will be on the Pick Dogs uh, YouTube site every single day. I won't miss any of those, uh, so make sure you check them out. Going to go record one now, and uh, I guess I will catch you next uh, uh, next Friday. Not this Friday, but the next Friday. All right, so Brian on a hiatus for a few weeks, so uh, <laughs> sure to catch up me on the drive through a week from a week from Friday, so he's on vacation. All right, Brian, have a great vacation, and we'll catch up with you again. Uh, in, a, in a week and a half. Thanks for having me, Tony. I will catch you on the flip side, hopefully on a stream. Absolutely. Brian Pillar here on The Drive. Too. Let's continue here on the show. Guys, now it's time before we get to the next capper here. Time for our chat pick of the day. And we always ask you guys to contribute with your pick. And tonight is the Astros and Rangers. If you like the Astros, uh, plus 114, letter A. If you like the Rangers, minus 124, it's letter B. Over 10 is C, under 10 is D. Bring in, put your picks in right now into the chat. Uh, it is the chat pick of the day. We always ask the chat to contribute. You guys will own it. Get those picks into the chat, and we'll compile them up and go over the go over the uh, the chat pick at the end of the show. All right, let's continue here on the drive through. We have up next here some more baseball coverage. We go to David Racy. You'll catch him over at Pick Dodge Prim. Also, a written contributor here on the site. We'll bring David in right now, ready to roll here with. Picks here from Major League a Baseball pick here. We'll get him in right now. David, what's happening? Not much, Tony. Just enjoying some beautiful weather. I got a little sunburn going on the oh head today, goodness. so it's uh, it's a good day here in Michigan. Yes, it looks that way. It looks that way. And, of course, uh, it looks like the nice, nicer weather up there in Minnesota. It'll be chilly, maybe hit the high 40s. I think LA, LA bodies will be able to handle the, the weather there. Uh, as uh, they'll be taking on the Twins. Maybe a little acclimation there being in Chicago for the weekend always helps. Uh, when you get into cold weather, it's always uh, you know, they don't like that first game in the, in the cold. But now they've got some days there. Dodgers dollar twenty six total eight and a half. Yeah, well that Chicago series did not treat the Dodgers uh, very well. They lost two out of three in that one, and uh, they struggled pitching in in those two losses. They lost eight to one and at nine to seven. So pitching's been a little bit of a question mark here for this Dodgers team. Uh, they come into this one eight and four on the season, um, but you know I do like them here in this spot. I know. Um, Dodgers are a huge public team, uh, obviously one of the bigger names in baseball, but I think they do have the advantage here in this one. They're the much better offensive team, in my opinion. And on the mound, they have James Paxton, who, you know, over the last three seasons really hasn't been that good, but he did look sharp in five shutout innings against the Giants in his first start. But when you're looking at the Twins, Twins are only three and four, um, only played seven games so far, but they've lost four out of their last five. And they've scored two runs or fewer in all four of those losses. So the offense for Minnesota is really struggling. Uh, they're going with Bailey Ober on the mound, who actually was pretty solid last season. I think he had about 25 or 26 starts, uh, but he got shelled uh, in his first start against the Royals. I think he allowed eight or nine earned runs in just over one inning. So, um, you know, Ober, he was successful last year, and I think he'll, he'll be a decent pitcher this year. This is just a tough spot for him to bounce back against a Dodgers offense that is uh, one of the best in the country. So I'm going to take the Dodgers here on the money line. All right, we got uh, uh, David here with the Dodgers here on the uh, money line here, minus 122 here against this uh, Minnesota Twins team. And uh, uh, just looking here at the uh, uh, weather report, we do show uh, 49 degrees. That's okay for L.A. We're used to the 50s up here. Uh, it's going to be close to 50. But we got the wind blowing out a bit there, 10 miles per hour out. Yeah, and, and I haven't checked in the last couple hours. Is it still supposed to rain or no? No, no chance of rain. Okay. 9%, which is not, right, well, next to nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that wind blowing out, you know, that could be uh, that could be an issue for both teams. But like I said, I think uh, I just think the Dodgers offensively are head and shoulders above where Minnesota is. And, um, you know, the Twins, they've struggled. They've lost four or five. They haven't played many games, played seven games compared to the Dodgers 12, which I know the Dodgers opened with those two. 
um, overseas. But I just, you know, I think the Dodgers offensive abilities um, will cover for any issues that Paxton runs into. All right, David here on the Dodgers here. Minus 122 here against the Twins tonight, 740 Eastern time. All right, David, let's take a look over at Pick Dodge Print for tonight's action. Of course, uh, we do have uh, but another uh, – I'm going to get the game starting right now. So that puts us at nine games on uh, – actually, 11 games on the board from Major League Baseball. A couple on the ice, national championship game. Uh, tomorrow, we bring in a big 14-game card from the NBA. David enjoying great results there. Also in NHL as well, showing great results. So what do you have going over at Pick Dodge Premium? Yeah, tonight I have uh, one play in Major League Baseball, one in the NHL, and one in that national title game for college hoops. So I have them all individually, or uh, they're packaged up in a three-pack. So head on over there, check it out. Uh, or like Tony and Brian were talking about, the uh, long-term packages are the way to go. But either way, uh, head on over to the site and check it out. That's right, guys. Got a boat with David Racy over at Pick Dodge. Pay him good with great results here. NHL and NBA uh, for the year. You see the NBA just a tad bit higher in the unit total, but man, the NHL is doing great work here from uh, David, so no better time to get on board. Long term pass the way to go. Remember, the, the uh, two for one multi capper promotion now is available, so uh, add more cappers, save even more money. Remember the promo code PICKET checkout, save that 15% off. All right, David, as always, great having you show. Continue that great success. We'll catch up with you next week, but we can also catch you on the occasions on the uh, weekend shows and as well as a written form over at the sites. Yep, I'm one of the free pick writers over at Pick Dogs and Sports Chef Place. You head on over to the sites, click on the free picks tab, uh, click on whatever sports you're looking for, and you can get a free pick article on just about every single sporting event. It's a great place to get some information, some trends, and a free pick. Um, and that, yep, on the weekend shows, I was there on Saturday, and uh, hopefully I'll be on at least one of the days this upcoming weekend. That's right, guys. Like, subscribe, set notifications. We get David's appearances on these shows. Get those picks. And we get a lot of picks on those shows as we go through the, through the card. All right, David, have a great night. We'll catch up with you again next week. <laughs> All right, thanks, Tony. I appreciate it. Yeah, a lot of picks and some banter back and forth, which is pretty fun. Yes, there's there's a lot of back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. All right, Dave Racy, you're on the drive. We'll continue on our show, guys. Let's get to our chat pick of the day. You guys are part of this show, a very important part of the show, and we ask you to give us your pick of the day. Uh, Astros and Rangers, you like the Astros plus 114, it's A. Rangers, minus 124 B, over 10 C, under 10 D. Right now we got three on the Rangers, none on the Astros. It's been pretty much early on here with, these, with the Rangers. And we've got one on the over 10 runs. So keep those picks coming in. We got another one here on the Rangers, looks like. So the Rangers up 4-0 already here on the uh, chat pick of the day. Keep those picks coming in, guys. We'll recap at the end of the show and we'll figure out what the pat chat pick of the day is all right let's continue on here up next uh, we're going to cover we'll, we'll go to jay briggs catch him over at pick dog premium we'll bring a we'll bring him in right now in just a second here we got a play from jay coming up let's see where we're going we're going back here a little bit all right hope you catch him on the weekends as well as the morning shows every day here on the pick dogs youtube channel uh let bring jay in right now with some baseball coverage We'll just get him here in just a second here. Going through the board. Here we go, Jay. Jay, ready to go. Jay, what's going on? What's happening, Tony? Hey, how you doing? I'm doing great. All right, I got to move the chains here, but we're gonna you're going to be covering this Blue Jays game as uh, they're about to make their uh, series. It's been a while. Uh, I think them and the Red Sox. Red Sox tomorrow, today, the Blue Jays, one, one of the few teams that haven't had a home game, and they'll be taking on Seattle, and they're going to be a short favorite in this game. Yeah, they are a short favorite. Um home opener like you said you know they've been the road a road you know to start the season off on the road and playing the teams they played i thought i think uh, a four and six record is not terrible for their home opener though in front of you know like i say in the nba the entire country <laughs> i think uh the toronto blue jays get a dub today i like luis castillo i do um but he hasn't showed me his top end stuff that we know he he has over course of the start of this season and um the blue jays bats we've seen them look really good in spots already early this season and at home opening day short line burrios he's look good sign me up i'm on the toronto blue jays all right jay here on the blue jays here minus 114 yeah last year was a slow start for castillo this year a slow start matter of fact the past two years in the first half of the season oh and six a minus seven and a half unit loss so castillo's had trouble ramping up that velocity uh, getting off to a good start and of course the mariners uh uh, struggles against right-handers and that road bullpen ERA is pretty, pretty high here for the Mariners. Yeah, you know the thing with the Mariners is it's my it's my you know everybody knows I have a great every team within my division, but 
Um, the Mariners, they, they're the team that's always up next. They always have a bunch of potential. Everybody always seems to really, you know, think this team has, you know, high hopes of doing something. And they always seem to start off really slow. Then they give you that false sense of hope midseason, and then they kind of tail off in the end. So until the Mariners show me that they're not that team, which they're kind of already showing me those tendencies, four and six to start the season, um, I think they're that same team. And expecting them to go in here and win a big game like this on the road, home opener for the Blue Jays, I cannot do. Will they compete here in this series? Probably. But to expect them to win game one, yeah, the Mariners have some pretty good starting pitching, but again, they lack a lot of clutch hitting. It's been a pressure with this with this Mariners team to get some hits for them, but it just seems that they come up short, especially in those home games. They just sometimes they get the luck, you know, winning those run run games, but man, it always seems like tight, close games uh, with the Mariners with the with the pitching staff, but they just don't seem to have the power in the lineup at all. Yeah, they need a they need like one or two more bats, you know, to really be and compete in, over there in the AL West and the whole American League. They're a solid team. They're going to win a ton of games this season, but I don't think they're really in the same realm as some of the big boys in Major League Baseball. All right, here we go with the Jays. Here going to go with the Blue Jays here. Minus 114 home opener against the Mariners tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern time. All right, Jay, let's take a look over at Pick Dog for tonight's action. Of course, uh, on the board tonight, and we've got uh, Major League Baseball, plenty of it, right? 11 games still on the board. A couple just began. We also have a couple on the ice. Jay, we'll look at action on the ice. You'll get some hockey picks from Jay as well. National Championship game tonight, Purdue and UConn. Of course, the NBA returns tomorrow with a monster 14-game card. What do you have going over at Pick Dodge Premium? Uh, I just had three Major League Baseball plays today. Um, I think one of them may have already started. So uh, if you're on my long term, you'll, you'll have, you know what's in there. But um, – no NBA today, which is kind of weird, you know, with the with the national championship game. And I didn't have an official play in the national championship game. I just I, – I couldn't get there um, on a premium play. I probably would have took UConn. I probably would have took UConn, land the points, uh, would, would be my nod. But I didn't have a play officially there. So just three in Major League Baseball today. But like Tony T said, we got, what, 14 games tomorrow? Damn near everybody in action tomorrow in the NBA. So – uh, you know, I'll be locked and loaded there. Season coming down to the horizon, just the last week, and then play in and, and, and uh, playoffs. We're here. It's that time of season, baby. So uh, make sure you guys hop on something long term as we try to kick the crap out of the books for the NBA playoffs and uh, kick the crap out of the books all season long with baseball. That's right, guys. Getting aboard with Jay Riggs over at Pick Dodge Premium. You see the great results here uh, with Jay. He's had a very, very good year. Solid year for 2024. We're highlighting the NBA. But you know, it's a good time to get the seven day pass, get those baseball plays today. Of course, we've got a lot of NBA to cover the remainder of the NBA regular season. NBA regular season ends on Sunday, so that covers the remainder of the NBA regular season with Jay. Also, Major League Baseball, we've got a lot of coverage coming up here. And uh, no tighter time than now to get on board with Jay. Use that promo code PICK at checkout, and you'll be able to save that. 15% off multi cap promotions, even greater value vote there for the year. Nearly 2,300 units of profit, all sports combined. Of course, Jay, you also have that all access for your big players. Yes, I do. I have an all access club for my big betters out there. Um, you know, the guys that are enjoying a, a tremendous season. You know, last week we went through a little rough stretch, but the last couple of days have been really profitable. Um, again, if you want to make a life-changing amount of money for the NBA playoffs, if you want, if you're somebody who wants to bet the NBA playoffs fairly big, jump on with somebody who's been really positive units all season long. I know the teams; I'm comfortable with what's going on. I have a pretty good idea of how the playoffs are about to shake out. I don't think many people know what's coming. I think I do. <laughs> Jay um, does. <laughs> uh, if you want, to, if you believe me, you can join my All Access Club and we can make a lot of money. Text the number. 775-636-7674. Set up a time to talk and figure out the packages for you. Okay. Make the call. Make the text. Get on board. All access. With, if it's within your bankroll, big bankroll players. All right, Jay. It's always great. We show. Just a couple of questions. We're seeing some opening lines tomorrow. One that got my attention is Lakers at home, two against the Warriors. I think I'm rolling with the Lake Show Lakers in that one. That game means too much for the Lakers. It means almost nothing for the Warriors. The Warriors are pretty much locked in at 10. The Kings, the way they've slipped without Monk. The Pelicans, the way they've slipped here recently. They've left that door creaked for the Lakers to, to uh, get up in those standings. So it's in the Lakers' best interest to go ahead and end Golden State tonight so they don't have to play them in a 
win or go home style situation in that 9 10 um, matchup in the playing tournament. Okay, looking for the Lakers to leapfrog. The Kings are vulnerable. They're going to be dogs against OKC tomorrow. Three games tomorrow. left. The dog, OKC going to lay three and a half at home against Sacramento tomorrow. That's another huge game. Um, Jalen Williams, Shea Gillis, Alexander, both game time decision currently. They both have missed significant time recently. I need to see if they're going to play um, is really what it boils down to. If they play, you know, I usually don't like betting teams, you know, first game back off injury with their main guy. But I think it's too huge of a game. I think the Thunder are head and shoulders to better basketball team. I think the Thunder possibly get that one done. I might have to. This might be a game you may think about betting early and praying the news breaks our way and you'll have a really great line. If you bet the Thunder now. Does Orlando look a little short lane two and a half on the road against postseason eliminated Houston? You know, I was at that Houston game yesterday as they played my Dallas Mavericks. You know, they're done. But I don't know if you necessarily would have known that watching them play yesterday. Houston is still a fairly decent team. And at home, they've been a real problem, especially ATS. They're the best home ATS team in the NBA are the Houston Rockets. So that number is short, but the Magic, they're the number one overall ATS team in the NBA. Um, that's a tough one, but the Magic, they still have something to play for. Um, that two seed is not out of their realm, yeah. uh, especially the way Milwaukee has fallen, Cleveland has fallen. The Magic, they can get all the way up to the two seed, so no room, room for error for them. I think they come out balling. I probably will take the Magic. Yeah, because their 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 bottom is actually a plan of uh, one of the seven seats. So they're, there's, they're really tight in the East. So you got to look at those standings. There's a lot of motivation there. Another one there of uh, contenders matchup is Clippers and Suns. Suns open three and a half at home. That is a huge matchup, Tony T. Um, I am personally rooting hard against the Clippers as a Mav fan. If the Clippers lose three of their last four and the Mavs win three of their last four, the Mavs jump the Clippers for the four seed, and Clippers will be the five. It's about an 80% chance right now we're going to get Mavs Clippers for that 4-5 matchup in the West. It's just a matter of seeding. The Suns still trying to stay out of that play-in tournament. Um, they have a tough four-game stretch coming up. Um, this is a huge one for them. The Suns really, really need this basketball game. We'll see. We'll see. I need to see if Kawhi pops himself back in there tomorrow. But the way the Suns, the Suns have been a different team the last – two, three weeks or so. They've kind of started to show the tendencies of the team we thought they may be. I think the game means too much for the Suns tomorrow. I'll probably lean in their direction. Any thoughts on that 9-10 next week? And we know it's going to be Atlanta and Chicago. We're still trying to figure out who has home court in there. Probably going to have to roll with your Chicago <laughs> Bulls, man. I probably got to roll with them. Um, Atlanta, they're just so inconsistent. You know, if DeJounte Murray goes out there and has a, a, a magical game, can the Hawks win that game? Yes. Can the Bulls fall flat? Most definitely. But I would probably lean towards Chicago in that one. Yeah. That's why you're a 9 or a 10. <laughs> that's, that's yeah. Right. They can lose at any moment. You just That's the way it rolls. Exactly. All right, Jay. Let everybody know about uh, your jam session and the morning show as well. Yes, sir. You can catch the jam session. There was no jam session today. There was no NBA games, fellas. So, uh, <laughs> There's no jam session today. We'll be back t maybe tonight. I'm probably going to start working on that here in a minute. so much action tomorrow. Um, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, jam session might be out early um, as we cook up all that action we have coming up on the horizon. And, of course, you can catch me on the morning show every single day with Mitch Ruffalo, Chris, Wednesdays with Romanelli, Mondays and Fridays with Costi. Weekends, I host the morning show. We bring in the entire crew, try to cover as many games as possible. Um, talk about I talk about every baseball game every single day on the morning shows. So um, you can catch my baseball over there, and then of course NBA on the horizon. So plenty of stuff for me here at Pig Dogs. Y'all know I, laugh, I talk a lot. If you want to hear me, you know where to find me here, right here at Pig Dogs. <laughs> Absolutely, there need to guys like subscribe, set notifications. You'll find Jay there on the channel. All right, Jay, have a great night. We'll catch up with you again tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Tony T, my man. Jay Brakes here on the drive to will continue here on the show. Let's get to the chat pick of the day. Right now, it's all, I mean, all Rangers 6 to 0. So if you like the Astros plus 114, you'll be the only brave soul right now. Hit A. Rangers minus 124B. Over 10 is C. Under 10 is D. Keep those 
picks coming in and uh, chat pick of the day. We got another C in there, so we got another. Uh, actually, we meant D. Okay, so we got the D in there. So Matt D wants D. So we got to correct that. We got the correction noted here. One over, one under. But right now it is all. Oh, we got another B coming in from J Man. So that's seven on the Rangers, none on the Astros uh, so far here on chat pick of the day. All right, let's continue here on the drive through Up next, we got Brad Francis. We got college basketball coverage from Brad from the national title game tonight. We'll bring him in right now, catch him over at Pick Dogs. We'll also find out about his video series here on, on the Pick Dogs YouTube channel. Brad, what's happening? Tony T, I'm pumped for the game tonight. Yeah, I don't know about pumped. you. I'm pumped for the game. This is the one we've been waiting for. We kind of figured it out when the brackets came out. As long as there's, you know, we, we, let's just have the upset somewhere else. Let's don't have it here. So we have this game. We did it. It worked out perfectly. Purdue and UConn. UConn lay in seven, total 143. Yup, I am, uh, I'm loving the under in this matchup. It keeps dropping, but I still love it. To start off, I love taking unders in these championship type games. And I also think this matchup with uh, Klingon and Edie um, in the paint, I think they're gonna clog up the paint and, and both teams are gonna have struggles. Get into the rim. I mean, those, those are two big boys right there. And I also think Purdue's best chances of winning this game is, is to make this game as slow as possible. Um, and when it comes to because, I mean, if, if this game turns into a shootout, I think UConn is just a little more lethal all around when it comes um, to their offense. But with that being said, uh, UC UConn plays at a at a slow pace naturally as well. They actually rank 328th in tempo um, in, in the country this season. And when looking at Purdue's last five games in this tournament, four of them have hit the under. And all of UConn's games this tournament um, have, have been the under as well. So... I personally think this number should have been set at like 139, 140 flat. Um, so, so this is a no-brainer for me. Give me the under here. All right, we got uh, Brad here, UConn, Purdue, under the total here in this spot. And, uh, you know, I've always said that the best way to defend a big man is to put pressure on the ball. And I think this is one team that can do that. I mean, I've looked at college basketball. These, these defensive guards, they just, they just seem to get beaten off the dribble. They just can't seem to defend the ball. But... UConn is one of those teams that can put pressure on the ball. And when you do that you may, and, and defend the passing lanes, you, may, you make it difficult to get the ball to your big guy. Exactly, yeah. And then when they do get the ball to the big guy, I got, I got faith in Klingon that he's going he's gonna to be able to contain ED at some point um, or uh, some way. So, I don't know. It's going to be an interesting matchup. I think, you know, the game's going to rely on that matchup. But I think the way UConn set up, I think the way they play defense, they could somehow limit him. Yeah, looking at that money line just moved up. We're getting we're seeing some money line activity on UConn. People probably taking the minus three dollars, looking to par as a parlay piece somewhere else. But uh, <laughs> that's something I'm just noticing here. But yeah, it, it does it does seem to me that uh, it, it's really going to be decided here with the defense from UConn in this game. Yep, exactly. And I also saw a stat. I think like the last last two years, the the average total score of the Nash or the national championships was like one forty. So. I mean, it, this number, it's, it's crazy that it kept dropping. I, I got it yesterday. Um, I think it was like my uh, 145. But, uh, yeah, I can see this one being in, in the high 130s here. Yeah, I think people are looking at UConn's defense, 2.3-point uh, defense. Uh, U uh, Purdue's 2-point defense in conference has been good. Not the 3-point defense. 3-point defense was a little high. Also, the concern with Purdue not forcing turnovers in the Big, in the Big Ten. If you just look at conference numbers, uh, not pressuring the ball. That's when you see that when uh, when you look at defense, when you look at teams that don't force turnovers, that means they're playing off their man too much. And that's dangerous, I think, in a spot game like this. All right, uh, uh, Brad here, UConn, Purdue, under total here, 143. This one tonight, 920 Eastern Time. Noted is on TBS. We're used to saying CBS here. Nope, it's on cable tonight. All right, uh, Brad, let's take a look over at Pick Dog Group tonight's action. Baseball on the board here with a nice, uh, still another... 11-10 uh, games on the board, also in action on the ice with a couple. A national Championship game, NBA returning tomorrow. But Brad has been on fire here in the NBA. Also, all sports combined has been on, on a tear here as well over at Pick Dodge Premium Document. You can verify that by going over to Brad's handicapper page. Go to Pick History. You'll see everything that he's released up here on the site. What do you have going over at Pick Dodge Premium? Yeah, I got a three pack on the site right now. To be fully transparent, last week was, was rough for me. So if you're looking to buy low on me and get a bounce back week, um, I'm, I'm locking in this week. I'm, I'm ready to get back. I'm ready to get back those units that I lost last week, even though it's still been a good year. So to start it off on this Monday, we have a three pack, two MLB, and then my best play in tonight's national championship game. So go check that out. Um, you know, I'm ready for the NBA to get back up tomorrow. So the, the place will pick up as the week goes on. Um, so check out a long-term pass as well. But for tonight, I'm very confident in that three pack. 
That's right, guys. Get on board here with uh, Brad Fence over at Pick Dog Stream. Long term pass. Way to go. All sports combined 1,517 units of profit. Seven day pass. We'll get you all of Brad's plays for seven days, taking the end of the NBA regular season. And of course, that promo code Pick at checkout, and you'll save that 15% off. All right. Uh, uh, Brad, as always, great having you show. Continue that success. We'll catch up with you next week. But let everybody know we can catch your video series over at Pick Dogs with your short series. Uh, a lot, And you're also getting into Nerfies, Yerfies, I believe, as well. Yeah, yeah, man. So, so still doing the parlay videos each and every day. And then the Nerfy, Yerfy videos as well. Then I'll drop a short here and there. I need to get back on that. But, uh, yeah, man, the Yerfies and Nerfies videos, they, they've been a great time. And uh, let me just say they're much easier than hit to, uh, to hit than three late parlays. So I've been enjoying that as well. <laughs> uh, so yeah, go check that out. Our record on Nerfies and Nerfies this season is 19 and 9. So it's uh, it's been profitable so far. And like I said, I've been really enjoying it. Uh, so yeah, Nerfies and Nerfies and the parlay videos all on Pit Dogs YouTube. That's right, guys. So check out, get on board here. Like, subscribe, set those notifications. So when Brad drops these videos, you get them right away. All right, Brad, have a great night. We'll catch up with you next week. All right. Thank you, Tony. Good luck tonight. You got uh, Brad Francis here on the drive tool. We'll continue here our show. Let's take a look here at the chat pick of the day and give you an update right now. It is, oh, actually, it is, it is all Rangers. If you like the Astros plus 114, it's A. Rangers minus 124, B. Over 10, C. Under 10, D. Right now, it is all Rangers. Rangers 8, Astros. And we did get that brave soul on the, on the Astros. Our man, uh, Flash Fortune. Uh, came in here with the A on the Astros. He's a lone one. We do have one apiece here on the over-under, so keep those picks coming into the chat. You know how to do it. Uh, a for Astros, B for Rangers, all money line today in this one. All right, let's continue here on the drive through Javon Burch is up next. Baseball covers for Javon. You'll catch him over at Pick Dogs Premium. I just uh, Also, you'll catch his video series on the channel as well. I did happen to see one pop up not too long ago. Javon, what's happening? Hey, what's going on, Tony? How are you, man? I'm doing great. All right, here we go. Major League Baseball for tonight. The Braves hosting the Mets. The Braves about 204, total of 10. Yeah, and I'm on the Braves going to run the line. Get this one down as far as odds. You know, still um, still laying a little, little bit of juice. I'm, I'm good with that. But for Braves team who, in their six wins, four of them have come by multiple runs. So, so you know what this, what this lineup is. It's a dangerous lineup. From top to bottom, they could put up, uh, they could put up the runs. That's for damn sure. And um, they're going up against old friend Julio Tehran. So, you know, he hasn't he hasn't started the game since 2021. You know, um, he's in for a rude awakening in this one. You know, on the other um, end of the, uh, on the other side, pitching for um, the Braves, we got Charlie Morton. He had a good start in his first um, start of the season. You know, I look at it like this. Charlie Morton holds it down. You know, he hands it over to the in the sixth or the seventh. You know, and um, the bullpen locks him down. This, this, this bullpen has been nails. You know, I think they're posting the 1.27 ERA. You know, so far. And other end, you know what the Mets are doing? <laughs> yeah, they got a 5-point-plus uh, ERA coming out of their bullpen. So... I expect Toronto um, to give it up. I expect the bullpen to give it up. So the Braves are 3-0 and at home thus far, and I expect them to be 4-0 in a multiple run victory. You know? So it is what it is. Braves all day. All right. Javon here, Braves all day. Run line, lay the run. 118 against the Mets. Yeah, Turan was signed on Friday. Let's pitch him on Monday. <laughs> They're not wasting any time, eh? Hey. Hey, listen, it's going to be a base for, for a lot of teams, man. If it's, if it's getting down like this, you know, that the fact of the matter is pitching is at a premium because we don't have the workhorses that they used to be. We have other guys that, you know, they've been, you know, they've been stars in this league as far as pitching goes, and they're on the disabled list or they're out for the season. You know, they're trying to cry about, oh, it's the pitch clock. It's not the pitch clock they build them like they used to it's just as simple as that you know what i'm saying like the way that the, the way they're telling them to pitch nowadays you know throw hard every pitch it's not sustainable you know what i mean so yeah i i, I say that to say that um you know there's gonna be a lot of bad pitching out there and we have to take advantage of it yeah and the thing is is you know the the speed and mile per hour that gets in the head of these guys at a very young age 
And if you notice, if you look at some of these videos online with these high school guys, they're pitching to, you know, they're all, every pitch is pretty much clocked now, right? So they're, they're fully right. focused on M, M, miles per hour, MPH. That's like in their head really at a young age. You know, they're not worried about, they're not worried about placement. They're worried about the, the speed, awesome. you know what yep. I'm saying? They're, they're, they're looking to clock out. And, you know, it, it's, it's not leading to very, you know, long careers, you know? So, hey, it is what it is. I mean, the way all of these sports are going, this is just isn't a baseball issue. It's a, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a major league sports issue as far as like the way they're, the way they're telling, you know, you know, um, these players to play, play um, a certain, um, a certain, um, you know, type of game. You know, in baseball, they're telling them to hit home runs, you know, not try to get on base as much. And, you know, they're telling them to throw as hard as they can, you know. So, hey, it's all they, they're trying to make it an all enough to sport. I don't, you know, the baseball that I grew up watching, it wasn't like that. You know, it morphed into that. And, you know, we just got to deal with it. Yeah, the Mets are feeling really low about them. There was some really bad home attendance in that Detroit series. I mean, it was it was embarrassing low. Uh, I remember that wide angle in that doubleheader series. Even the announcers said, "This feels like this feels like we've just uh, like an all time low for the franchise." I mean, it's it's really bad right right now with the Mets having to cut back. Uh, yes. An owner that owner comes in strong with showing the dollar bills and pitching the wallet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, listen. You know, at the end of the day, it's a business, and we're seeing it up here in Boston. You know, these, these the ownership group has um, had this team for 24, 23, 23 years. And, um, you know, they came out the gate. And for the most part, it's been successful because we got four championships out the deal. But, you know, the, for the first 16, 17 years or whatever, you know, they were willing to spend. And they were willing to keep their players. But in the last several years, I say, you know, four or five years, you know, it hasn't been the case. And, you know, what bigger example of that is Mookie Betts. He should be a Boston Red Sox right now. Instead, they, they let him go. They should have, you know, pulled up, pulled back up the bridge truck for that man. Instead, they let him go. And, you know, now look what the, what the franchise, franchise is. They're not a contender. You know, they might win 70, 80 games or whatever. You know, hell, they might even make it up to the, to the wild card on round. But they're not a, you know, they're not a championship level team. You know, so that they're penny pension. You know what I'm saying? So you got these franchises with these owners that come in, you know, they make a big splash and you know, whether it works or not, at some point they're gonna you know, they're gonna they're gonna um try to tighten the budget wherever they can. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. Profits. Yeah, because a lot of issues there, of course, uh, that's one thing we've got we got the the uh Bullpen game, that sounds like a money saving issue there. Just a bunch of middle relievers, not a little salary guys. Hey, we can we can save we can save money on the fourth or fifth starter. Let's just throw a bunch of middle relievers in there and, pull, and, and eat up innings. Yeah. We get to our bullpen. That seemed to me like another money saving situation there more than the need. But uh, Javon, we got a, a chat. A guy in the chat says, I'm going to just take the Braves and lay in the run in half in the first five innings. <laughs> that's, that's how he says there. <laughs> hey, I mean, that's, you know, that's, hey, you could do that too. And, you know, it's a, it's a small move, you know. The run line, run line, first five is point five. You know, all they gotta do is um, you know, be up by at the end of five by, by one run. You, get, you know, you get the money. Yeah, you know? he's looking so, at better his odds by just, playing the. He's looking at better his odds by taking laying the run in half in the first five. <laughs> so that's just, yeah. you know, looking for a bigger yeah, plus I mean, there. But I, don't, right? I don't think, and this one I don't think is gonna matter because I think you know they're gonna be up regardless whether it's first five or the full game thing. They're gonna be up multiple runs. You know, but um, either way, you know, you know, there's mo in baseball. This beauty of baseball is there's multiple ways, you know, to play these games. You know, to get to get some money, and you know, yeah. if you're on a favorite, you know, if you're on a favorite, then you know, there's there's a couple different ways to play it. You know, there's a school of thought where you don't want to lay lay odds in uh, multiple runs, you know, on, in the run line. Yeah. But when you're dealing with a mismatch. You gotta, you gotta call it for what it is. You know, we're not here to, we're not here to lose money. And when you pretty much are sure, or not sure, but when you pretty much you know can rationalize that a team is gonna win, like in this case, <laughs> given the circumstances, then you know I'm not just gonna throw money in the air by taking an underdog. You know, it don't, though taking an underdog has its, has its limits. You know, you just don't throw money in it, don't throw in, you know, and and not watch it come back. 
And I think no, it's so interesting. I think what's interesting here, Javon. I think I think what's interesting here is what the total is telling you right here. There's going to be a lot of runs scored. Yeah. I don't see. I, I don't know if the Mets are the ones. <laughs> that makes alternate yeah, run yeah, line in place for the full game. Right, and the Mets and the Mets aren't going to be the one. I mean, listen, you know, you have you have these situations where you know the underdog does it, but I think with this pitcher who's on the mound for the Mets and the struggles that, or you know, the the, the let's say the journey that he's been through. He was an ace, came into the league, you know, and um, injuries really, um, you know, took his career into a, a tailspin. And he's, you know, basically just now getting back into a situation where he could start games, you know. So, you know, given the circumstances, man, there's only one way to go in this one. You know, and I'll, and, I'll take, and, I'll, and I'll take the results, you know, how they happen at the end of it, you know. So, yeah, you know, for me, I'm an underdog better, but I only do it in spots. You know, it's like I can't do it every single time because it just doesn't it just doesn't make sense. You know, so for me, you know, I've hit a I've hit a you know a few um you know good money line plays so far this year, you know, but um I don't think this is gonna be one of them. All right, here we go with uh, Javon here, Braves run line, lay the run half, minus one eighteen against the Mets tonight, seven twenty Eastern time. All right, Javon, let's take a look over at Pick Doc for tonight's action. Got the national championship game up on the board. Also, about another uh, 10 games on the board for Major League Baseball. We also have uh, action tomorrow returning from the NBA with a 14 game card to start the week. What do you have going over at Pick Dogs Premium? Yeah, I got a five pack going, you know, um, with um, the national championship game and four baseball plays. So, four will be in the national um, championship play in that one, you know, so jump up on that. You know, matching up with other one of the other handicappers for the two for one capital emotional. Or check me out for something long term, three days, seven days, thirty days, yearly. You know, it's that time of season. NBA's about to transition to the playoffs, but first the playing um, round and then the playoffs. So there's a lot of money to be made, you know, going into um this spring. You know, baseball there's always money to be made. You know, for the most part it's fifteen games except for a couple days here and there, you know. And even then, there's 10, 11, 12 games going, nine at the least. You know what I mean? So it's going to be a hell of a summer. Go, you know, spring and summer, and then going into the fall where football is back. And, you know, you know where I'm at when it comes to the NFL. So, you know, let's get it. Let's get it, guys. You got to over. It's over at Pick Dodge. Pick great results in baseball. Long-term pass, the way to go. Pick is a promo code. Save that 15% off. Right, Javon? It's always great having a show. Your success. We'll catch up with you again uh, on a Friday. But of course, we can catch your video series up here with the shorts. Yeah, and the video series has been, has been going well. Hit two out of three, you know, in the last three days. So hit two of them. So I'm um, just looking to keep that going. You know, it's two team parlays. Once I get going on that, you already know. You know, just like um before when I was doing the regular um parlays and not the sports regular parlays. It's, basically the same thing just a condensed version you know with less commentary you know do it in and out under 60 seconds so you know just looking to keep that going all right guys make sure to like subscribe set those notifications so when uh, Javon drops those shorts you get them right away all right Javon have a great night great night at the casino and we'll catch up with you again uh tomorrow on Friday absolutely have a great night we'll see you on Friday see you on Friday Ron Birch here on the drive to let's continue on here on the show, we'll recap any of the picks at the end of the show. Stay tuned for that. Let's recap here, not recap, let's continue here with our chat pick of the day. We're asking you for the chat pick, Astros, Rangers. If you like the Astros, plus 114, it's A. Rangers, minus 124B. Over 10 is C, under 10 is D. Right now, it has been all Astros. Although we do have a few brave souls on the uh, Astros side. Two on the Astros, eight here on the Rangers. The split here, one and one on over and under. So get those picks in right now, and we'll recap at the end, end of the show. Let's continue here on the drive through. We're going to get some hockey action tonight. There's a couple on the ice tonight. We'll bring in Rod Zawacki. An important game tonight uh, will be featured on this show. Golden Knights and, and Canucks will bring Rod Zawacki in. You'll catch him over at Pick Dodge Payment. Rod, what's happening? Well, not too much, Tony. Uh, you know, is, uh, if it's a quiet day in hockey, you know what I'm doing that day. <laughs> There's only two hockey games tonight, so you know what tomorrow's card is. It's a, it's a yep. loaded 13-game card yep. in the NHL tomorrow night, uh, plus a parlay. So 14 videos uh, will be loaded up for tomorrow's action, but we got this one going tonight, and uh, this one definitely has some uh, playoff implications as uh, the Canucks 
trying to hold on to that first of the Pacific and the Golden Knights trying to track down uh, your Kings. Yeah. Uh, third of the Pacific. So, I, I, I would like to thank the schedule maker. I would like to thank the schedule maker for, uh, for, for reviving the Kings and saving their season because it's very well appreciated out here because this team had to look like a dead team uh, before, <laughs> before they started seeing Kraken and Sharks. But uh, here we go tonight. Golden Knights and Canucks uh, going head-to-head. -head. Canucks, $1.16, total six. Yeah, and you look at this one here tonight, uh, and it's not going to be uh, DeSmith getting the start for the Canucks. Uh, it's Artos uh, Silvos going to get the start for uh, these Canucks. Going to make his third start uh, in the NHL this season. Uh, he's made two starts already, and he's got two wins. He's got a 1.5 goals against average and a 930 save percentage, so he's been not bad for the Canucks in goal. But, but, who's he faced? He faced the Ducks and the Coyotes. Uh... Canucks got the win 3-2 against the Ducks, 2-1 against Arizona. And now he has to face this uh, Golden Knights team, who's got uh, Logan Thompson will be getting the start for the Knights in this one. And the Knights have uh, been coming on hot. Winners of six of the last eight hockey games. And then they get to uh, make a debut for uh, an old shark. Remember uh, Thomas Hurdle? Thomas Hurdle is going to get a start for... Uh, the uh, Golden Knights tonight, making his debut. They picked him up in the trade deadline, and he was injured. Well, he's healthy, ready to go. Got to get him warmed up for the playoffs, right? Um, this Knights team uh, is a team that nobody wants to face in the playoffs. Watch out as they start to get healthy. Thomas Hurdle's a huge piece. Uh, great on the power play. Nice little bonus. I think Thomas Hurdle gets a goal tonight. Also, you look head-to-head -head between these two teams. Um, Knights. Winners of two of the three meetings already this season. Outscoring the Canucks 11 to uh, 6 in those three games. Golden Knights are hot. Canucks, only two wins last six games. They're, they're, they're hanging on, Tony. Hanging on to that Pacific family. I think they might be one-handed uh -oh. after this tonight's game. Uh -oh. I think the Golden, we're taking the Golden Knights in this one. Because we're an Oilers fan. If after this uh, game here, the Oilers will have two games in hand and only three points behind the Canucks in the Pacific. Go Knights! Go Knights, says Rod Zawacki, says Gold Knights here. And in this spot, as it uh, looks like the Canucks are going to be slipping a little bit down the path here. It's a, a big game tonight in Vancouver. Of course, uh, Vancouver has had recent losses at L.A., lost at Vegas when they fa faced. And uh, it's kind of a downside. Two losses to Los Angeles are here. A team that's been failing. I mean, I'm not a big fan of this King team. You guys know that. I've been more critical of the Kings than anybody else. But, <laughs> but after this, uh, they will see Edmonton and Winnipeg down the stretch. And one thing with the, with Golden Knights is that they got Edmonton up next after this game, and they're home for the next four. It is. Yeah, the Golden Knights uh, do face the Oilers on, on Wednesday. Hey, look, that ticked up. Somebody's uh, Canucks money. Someone's trying to fade me. Go ahead. Go ahead. You see taking the Canucks money. Go ahead. We'll get an even better price on the Golden Knights. Go ahead. <laughs> Keep taking the Canucks. <laughs> I seen that tick up as you said yeah. that. All of a sudden, it was like, yeah. So at the Golden Knights, they do face the Oilers, and you know, uh, this is the Oilers team. This is their been their nemesis. The uh, Golden Knights kicked them out last season, and uh, do they want to face them in the first round? No. So, but I don't think they have to, right? You catch yeah. the Canucks, the Oilers will move up into first. The Golden Knights can come up moving in there, and then it'll be Golden Knights versus uh, your Kings. Or actually, it'll be the Canucks versus uh, the Golden Knights. Yeah. Oilers would place the the second uh, wild card team, right? Or the or the first one, right? Is that first wild card team? Is that how it works? First wild card team. Wild. So then they'll be playing uh, probably most likely Nashville uh, in the mm. first round. So that's what I'm hoping for. Yeah. And then you see the Canucks and the Golden Knights in uh, in, in the round, and then you see Kings, Kings taking on um, Dallas. Dallas, yeah, Dallas, yeah. Dallas. <laughs> Something so different. Anyone, nobody wants to face Dallas either. There's no. another team. And so, still with mostly four games, five late games left for some teams, Golden Knights have six games left, so they can catch your uh, Kings here tonight, I believe. If the yeah. Golden Knights get the win, they uh, leapfrog, and then it'll be uh, Golden Knights into that third spot. Kings drop down into uh, the wild card. Wild card, Into the yeah. uh, second wild card spot. Because the second and and then the next team down, I believe, is like six points back, which is the Blues, and I, I think those teams are out. You think, think you think the playoffs are pretty much solidified in the in the West, right? It's just positioning now, pretty much. So, yeah, just positioning. Who's going to play who? Uh, it's the East. That's that's the, the crazy wild card in the uh, in the East. Man, you got like four teams. You got the Capitals that are like 
uh, at 83 points. You got the Penguins who are up there, the Islanders, Detroit, and all of those teams. Uh, they're left. Those five teams were all with the two points of each other. So definitely lots to be decided uh, in the East yet. Some big games coming up tomorrow as well uh, in hockey. Yep, still uh, a lot, lot to, to be decided. Lots to be decided. Excited down the stretch for a change. Sometimes it's a it's a foregone conclusion and you're way ahead. Not this year. Oh. The East has five teams that are still in it. <laughs> <laughs> they certainly do. Yes, it's still a, a load there. Uh, we got Rod here on the Golden Knights plus 107 against Canucks. This one tonight, 10 p.m. Eastern time. All right, Rod, let's take a look over at Pick Doctor for tonight's action. Of course, on the board tonight, we got still about not 10 games from Major League Baseball. Also, the National Championship game. Uh, from college hoops we got another one on the ice for you two total uh, nba returns tomorrow with a big card nhl returns tomorrow with a big card so we're going to be very busy tomorrow with a lot of volume on the board uh rod enjoy great baseball year what do you have one over at pick dodge premium and over at pick dodge premium i've got uh four plays tonight i have three plays in a monday money monday triple that includes uh the national championship another play on the ice which is the other game going and then uh an MLB game uh, that I've got going today that I absolutely love. And then I've also got a 10-star play of the day, and that is in MLB. And that 10-star play of the day, we're going for a sixth straight uh, on that one. We've hit five straight, crushed it yesterday with Nashville. 15-2 um, and two over the last 17 days with my 10-star play of the day. It's so singly up there. Scoop it up. I think it's uh, been printing money over the last 17 days. 15-2. and two. So uh, definitely jump aboard it or grab something long-term. Don't wait for the week. You got a whole lot of uh, playoff hockey that's uh, basically some playoff action hockey that's ready to go as we uh, head into the playoffs. Teams are going to be battling out, and we'll definitely find some winners in hockey. NBA is coming down the stretch. We'll definitely find some winners there as well. So jump aboard. And lots of baseball, as uh, Tony said. So load of cards. Jump aboard. Use that promo code PICK at checkout and uh, save 50% off. That's right, guys. Over, with Rod Over at Pick Dogs, bring 15% off when you use that promo code PICK at checkout. And you'll do that as well. <clears throat> All right, Rod, it's always great having you show. Any bonus there for them or recovery of the bonus as well? Bonus, I think you go in. Uh, let's see something here. Uh, in the other game, I, I like two goals. I like Sidney Crosby and I like Austin Matthews. A little two-teamer. Um, I think we see some goals in the other game as well. I, I like both these games to see some, some goals. So maybe, maybe over in both. But uh, the other game, take take uh, Austin Matthews anytime goal, Sidney Crosby anytime goal. If your bookie will let that you pair that up, take him as a two teamer. I think they both got a goal tonight. There you go from Rod the bonus man of the people there. Okay, Rod, man of the people. I know you're hard work tomorrow with that monster card from the NHL your video series. Monster card. So definitely uh, make sure that you've liked, you've uh, subscribed, and that way you click on the little notification bell. That way you get notified when uh, all those hockey videos get dropped. A to Z, any game you're looking for on the board, definitely uh, go check it out. I've got all 13 games covered um, tomorrow. Plus, I've got a parlay uh, that I love. Dog parlay. Two of them are nice big dogs tomorrow, so uh, definitely want to tune in and check that out for tomorrow. Nice plus 180 on one of them, so uh, let's get it. Ah, there you go. Big card tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> that's great. When you have that big card, you can isolate some of these good dogs, and Rod's got a juicy one for you there on that big card tomorrow, so make sure you like, subscribe, set notifications, and get those videos when they drop and look for that big dog to get the best price. All right, Rod. Big dog. Yeah. Damn. Check out the three team parlay tomorrow. Big dog tomorrow. Love it. There's a couple, two big dogs in there. Oh, nice. Nice. There you go, guys. You can do that when you have the big cards. Have a great night, Rod. We'll catch big you for the day tomorrow. Yeah. yeah, you have yourself a good night, Tony. Good luck with your bets, everybody. Crush it. See you tomorrow, Tony. See you tomorrow. Rod Zawacki here on the drive. We'll continue in here, guys. Getting close to wrapping up this chat today. It's been one-sided here. Astros and Rangers. You like the Astros plus 114. It's A. Rangers uh, minus 124. B. Over 10. C. Under 10. D. Right now, it's been all, all Rangers. 11 on the Rangers. 2 on the Astros. We're pretty much going to... You guys can put your votes in, but I, I can pretty much tell you the chat pick of the day today is going to be on the Rangers. So go ahead and put in your best bet. Your show pick now goes into the chat. Put your show pick in the chat, and we'll read it at the end of the show. Let's continue here on the drive through. We'll get to my pick, and then we'll call it a day here on the drive to get ready, you guys ready for this national championship game coming up. As we'll move the chains here, and we'll get to my pick here, Cubs and Astros. We're going to be on the Cubbies here, plus the, plus the 121. Darvish and Assad on the hill tonight in this one. Uh, but you know what? Darvish has had struggles here uh, 
at home, uh, at home facing teams averaging four and a half runs or greater, 15 and 21, a minus 18 unit loss. Also, two and 10 when favored at home by minus 110 or higher the past two seasons, a minus 15 unit loss. Remember, we said that Darvis has seen his velocity come down a little bit over the, over the couple of years. He's getting up there in age. Uh, Padre have not been good home favorite here in this price between minus 100 and minus 150. 14 and 21 at home, a minus 12 unit loss. And the Cubs have been hitting. Also, the Padres bullpen at home and ERA near six. We'll take the Cubbies here at plus the 121. All right, guys, check out Pick Dodge Room tonight. I've got a best bet on the board from College Hoops. Also, a couple singles from Major League Baseball. Get my long term pass to get those singles. Uh, three, seven, or 30 hour sports pass. Get all my premium plays for that time. Just like when you go to my handicapper page, make that purchase. Remember the promo code Pick at Checkout. You'll save that 15% off. All right, we'll close the chat pick of the day right now. It is the chat pick of the day will be on the Rangers. Rangers minus 124 is your chat pick of the day by a wide margin. A wide margin, 11 to 2, and we split the totals 1 and 1 across. But it is the Rangers minus 124, your chat pick of the day. All right, let's go ahead and recap the plays tonight. Brian was on the Angels plus 126 against the Rays. David says Dodgers lay the minus 122 against the Twins. Jay was on the Blue Jays, minus 114 against Mariners. Brad, UConn, Purdue under. Javon Braves, run line, lay the run half, minus 118 against the Mets. Rod, the Golden Knights, plus 107 against Canucks. I'll be on the Cubbies, plus 121 against the uh, against the Padres. The one I like the most will be on the Blue Jays with Jay here, minus 114 in their home opener. We know Castillo has been, last two years now, have been a slow starter out of the gates in April. Blue Jays minus 114 against the Padres. That's the one I'll go with. All right, let's, now it's time here for your best bet. Your show picks. Give me your show picks, and I'll read them out here. We have Blake here, Nationals, plus the one and a half here against the Giants. I thought they were a live dog tonight. Uh, Francisco also tagging the Cubs, so is Blake on the Cubs. Uh, we've got Blake on VGK, the goal of Knights. It will be in there in, in action tonight. So let's see what else we have here tonight. Michael Morgan took run line. Well, actually, this game's already started with Cleveland. Uh, so let's us so we have here in the other chat and these other best bets here We're gonna be looking for your chat pick of the day guys right now What uh, Chris white thunder under 144 you kind of Purdue that is his chat pick of the I'm sorry That is his pick of the day pick of the day there uh, He'll chalk it up Arizona lay the run in half here with Matt D against hey, he's from the Denver area He's gonna he says <laughs> Matt D from Denver says Arizona run line. So you know, he's going against the Rockies. He knows he knows it. J Matt also tailing on the Cubs. What else do we have here with your with your show pick? We actually this is the show pick. Your show picks, get your show picks in the chat here. Got a few seconds before you sign off. Get them in and I'll read them off here. I think we're getting to the end of them here. I think that's gonna do it. San Francisco here for Fernando. San Fr oh sorry, Francisco. Sorry, Francisco. Oh, he, he just made a noise of Fr Fernando Mendoza here. Uh, that's what it was. I thought he was making a note here in San Francisco. Fernando Mendoza there on the on uh, agreement here. All right, let's see what else we have here. Uh, Blake on the Nets. All right, we got all the picks in today from the show. All right, let's go ahead here and let's bring in our crew for tonight. We're going to wake goodbye to guys. You guys have a great afternoon, evening. We'll catch up.